All right, everybody, we're talking about proper T placement here. Big thing I want you to do, put a plate down. Uh, it doesn't have to be a plate, put down a ball or your glove or your hat, put something down so you have a point of reference. Otherwise, you're just gonna be up there standing and I see a lot of guys putting the tee like on the plate, which makes no sense. You wanna be hitting the ball where you are actually hitting it in live hitting. So right here, I get, this is about exactly where I stand in a game. Sometimes I stand a little bit closer to the plate, but I have my back foot usually lined up with the point of the plate. Um, if I'm playing U-trip, I might even get, or, or uh, semi-fast or, or lower pitching, I'll get my back foot in line with the front of the plate. If I'm playing ASA, I usually have my foot in line with the, the points of the plate, or sometimes I'll even have it back farther. But then I put the ball and the tee out where I'm actually going to be making contact with it, not where I'm you know, just setting it on the, the, the plate. That makes no sense. I see a lot of guys doing that. And then as we come here, um, you know, just want to make sure that I'm getting my stride. If I have the, the tee put right here, and then what I see most of the time is guys are either too far back from the tee, like their feet will be somewhere in this area back here. It's easy to stand way too far away from the tee, and then you end up stepping in. Um, and then it just creates bad habits. You're, you're swinging across your body and everything else. Um, so here, I took a great stride, and then as I'm starting to rotate, here's part two of the swing coming in. I'm in a great position here where I can just rotate and snap, 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 snap. I got my knuckles lined up correctly. Snap, snap, snap. Look at my, it's just like I'm swinging along the top of a rope. Snapping through, boom, right there. I'm, I'm still palm up, palm down. I'm just starting to roll over in the snap. Boom, I'm out to full extension. Um, pretty much a straight line here with my arms and my bat, and then getting a lot of uh, weight transfer off the back foot and actually hopping on the back foot just because I'm getting so much explosion there. Um, and just to rem well, here's a, a shot of, um, this is a great looking swing here uh, and a powerful hit, but just look where he has the T set here. You know, I mean, this is generally not where someone's going to stand even in ASA compared to the plate. You know, is this where your actual stance is going to be? I highly doubt it. And then the ball is not going to, you're not going to be making contact with the ball right on the plate unless you're going to right field or up the middle. Um, so this is a big thing here. You know, he should be, uh, my man should be standing with his back foot like about right here and then putting the tee like out in this area right there. And then we should have, you know, have a, a, a ball. Well, we don't need to have um, something set down there because we can actually use the plate and then put the tee like out in front so we're taking a nice stride. Otherwise, uh, look, at this is a ball that's just crushed and he's not even using his, his, his total, uh, you know, back foot and getting the weight transfer off of there. Otherwise, he's got a lot more power to go. Um, for the online swing analysis, um, as far as the angle I want you to give me, I'm able to do this screen record now so I can do an online swing analysis follow up with anyone who's, who's uh, purchased a, a swing analysis from me before where I do the, the, the 20 or 30 minute video with all the clips in it. Now we can do a follow up very easily um, because I can just do a screen record right here for um, just a small fee and then uh, you know 10 to 15 minute video sometimes I go longer once I get going so um, this is great if you have a track man or anything like this most people don't um, but I can go over um, for free I'll just do an initial review say hey you know the, 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 you're coming over the, the edge of your front leg here um, I'd like to see this connected position um, much better the big thing I'm seeing a lot with guys is their initial movement and, and especially if you're coming from a baseball background the initial movement has been uh, you know neutral or actually backwards with a lot of guys that have been sending me video clips um, right here you can't see it as much because it's coming but here's a nice stride coming forward see the head the body and everything's moving forward now what I don't like is this bat we really have to reroute it and then the front leg we should be one once the, the the forward motion of the swing has ended which is now when the front foot is landing it should be 100 percent rotation so my cursor um, your head should just be sta stationary on there instead look at this forward motion forward motion forward motion now the rotation is starting to kick in and then uh, we're laid on the snap uh, rolling up over the top instead of axe snapping through um, but good weight transfer and the rotation is okay um, just some things to work on there so that's a great angle if you can give me that 
Otherwise, uh, if you don't have the track man or anything, which most people don't, I've never swung on a track man. This is the angle I want here, directly from the side, um, with your belly button facing the camera. If you can get it up, set the camera up on something so I can see it. Um, if you're taking film from you from behind or fr with with a lot of space above your head or below your feet, you're just not going to see everything that you want to see. Um, so this is the perfect angle right here. Just send this to me. I'll give you a quick synopsis of what's going on. And then uh, we can move forward if you want to get a full paid analysis. Uh, my man, uh, Nathan here, is just, uh, he's pulling his hands with him instead of pulling the hands back. He, so he's lost all, all connection right there. And then once he gets to the point of contact here, kind of just drug the hands in there and then uh, is actually letting go of the bat here early which I did a, a video on earlier before instead of powering the snap through all the way through contact is really what we want to strive for um, take a look at bogey here I mean this is just a phenomenal swing from a few years ago look at the connected position the hands are back he doesn't have to reroute his bat hardly at all he's starting to rotate and snap look at that head I mean his head is just you know totally stationary now it's all 100% rotation he's getting great weight transfer off of the back foot he's he's already snapping 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 he was snapping and rotating from the beginning watch how this bat had oh look at that. one frame it just picks up from from uh, hanging back here to all of a sudden boom right at the point of contact now a lot of guys can get to this position here. He's he's great palm up, palm down. He's axe snapping through. Now is he going to rise up over the top, or is he going to cut through it on a straight line and, and and go out to full extension? Let's see what happens here. Right after contact, boom! Right out to full extension. That's absolutely perfect. So, uh, send me your swings, uh, swing makeover at gmail.com. I will give you a quick, brief synopsis of what your uh, your flaws are in the swing, and then we can move forward from there. Just wanted to give an update on that. All right, guys, thank you much.